Hello everyone, my name is Lisa Nichols and today I'm going to show you how to do a single extraction. I'm going to take this aqueous solution that has methyl red and some acid and I'm going to extract it into ethyl acetate using a separatory funnel. So here are the materials that I'm going to use. Um, the separatory funnels are best stored disassembled and that makes sure that they dry fully after you've cleaned them, which means that you're going to have to put it together first. So if you have a Teflon stopcock, you're going to stick that in, followed by the plastic washer, then the little rubber washer, and then the plastic screw piece. And you screw that on until it's somewhat tight. You can uh, open the stopcock a few times just to make sure it shouldn't be really loose. It shouldn't be like impossible to uh, twist either, but it should have some resistance to it. These stopcocks are closed when they're in the horizontal position. When they are vertical, that means that they're open and liquid can drain. So make sure that they start in the closed position. You also wanna get a stopper that will fit with the ground glass joint. They can look different. They can look like this, or they can look like this, but just make sure that it has a good fit. Now let's get our ring stands ready. So you wanna assemble a ring stand and put on a ring clamp. They can look very differently, like this one on the left, I have, it has a split. The other one is just completely um, intact. It's a circular ring clamp. And the one with a split is kind of nice for separatory funnels because you can slide it through and it can hold on to it that way. So that's kind of nice. But the ones that are completely uh, circular, those can work too. The problem with this one is it's actually too big. You do want to test that out before you like put something in there. Um, so it won't actually hold. Uh, the way to get it to hold and something that's kind of nice anyways is if you have little pieces of slit uh, rubber tubing, you can put those around the clamp that can make it a little um, uh, smaller so it will hold the, the separatory funnel and it also acts as a nice cushion so that you're uh, less likely to break the glass when you put it in. So now I'm ready to add my liquid that I want to extract. And at this point it's good to once again check your separatory funnel and make sure that the stopcock is in the horizontal position because what if it's accidentally vertical? When you stick the liquid in there it's just going to drain out. One way to prevent that is to always put some sort of flask, Erlenmeyer or beaker underneath it, just in case you forget to check and the liquid would just stream out. Then you can catch it and then you know your whole experiment isn't ruined. So it's also good to add the liquid using a funnel. And the reason is that the, the less liquid that you get around that frosted ground glass joint, the better, because when we put the stopper in, sometimes it can cause uh, that to freeze if there's liquid there. So it's nice to use a funnel to add your liquid, then the joint doesn't get wet at all. So this pink uh, solution is aqueous, it's acidic, and it has some methyl red uh, indicator molecules in there. That's what gives it that color. What I'm now gonna add is ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate is an organic solvent, and it's what I want to extract the methyl red into. So we add that using the funnel as well. I can remove the funnel and notice that not very much liquid got on the frosted joint. So if I zoom in, you can now see that there are two layers in the separatory funnel. The bottom is aqueous, the top is organic and we're starting to get some color in the organic layer. The ethyl acetate originally was clear, but that color is that already the methyl red is being pulled into the top layer. And it does have a different appearance when it's in an organic solvent compared to the aqueous solution. But now I wanna mix it up because uh, only the surface layer really um, had any contact or the, the interface between the two layers. So I wanna mix it. So I, I put the stopper on and I turn it upside down. And it's really probably best to, to do this with two hands just to make sure that you're, you have a real good uh, control on it. 
and every once in a while when it's upside down open up the stopcock and release pressure sometimes especially when you have volatile sol solvents you'll get it to spit out and um, you want to release that pressure so I invert it a few times give it a good shake and notice that the top layer is getting darker the bottom layer is getting less pink here's another venting step Okay. And this would be the real extraction. This is what you probably would want to do. While it's upside down, give it a good shaking, maybe 10, 20 seconds or so. And now we can see that the bottom layer doesn't look pink at all. So most of the methyl red molecules have been extracted into the top layer and um, they make that top layer look orange. So let's zoom in and look at the liquids. And if I hold this up, you should be able to see that it didn't take long for it to settle down and uh, clarify. So there's a nice distinct line between the two layers. What I want to do next is separate the two layers into different Erlenmeyer flasks. So you want to get two and label them. I'd recommend labeling one with bottom, the other one with top. And what you'll do is you'll open up the uh, stopcock and start draining into the bottom Erlenmeyer flask. Now if you just open it up, you're going to find that it doesn't drain that well. Why is that? Oh, it's because of this. If you don't op open up the stopper, then the liquid that drains out can't have air replace it and it's going to create a negative pressure in the funnel and it doesn't want to do that. So if you have any trouble with it draining, check your stopper and make sure that it's off. So you take the stopper off and then you open up the stopcock and start draining into the bottom Erlenmeyer flask. You're going to go right until the interface between the orange and the clear layer is in the stopcock. So when it gets close, I, I slow down, I stop, and then slowly let it drain out until a little more. Till right about there, yeah, because that was right when the, the orangey part started to enter the stopcock. All right, so then I have separated, I've drained out the bottom, and then you want to take the septory funnel and pour it out the top. That's the best way to not mix the two layers. And in this way, we've now uh, extracted methyl red into ethyl acetate, and I've separated the layers.